Hi guys, Stuart and Alan here from Outdoor Basics and today I'm going to talk about a custom pack that I got made from 1157 Tactical so if you're interested in having a look at the pack, stay tuned Alright guys, so maybe about two years ago, there or thereabouts, if you look back through the videos, you'll see um, I did like a wee kind of review on a pack that I made myself, a wee day sack I made myself and what I carry for out and about um, and it was absolutely bomb proof, I really really loved it um, and it kind of continued through and I was using it more and more but I'm not a, like a, no a kit maker, I'm not a stitcher um, so it was starting to show wear and tear a wee bit um, and it maybe wasn't as good as it could be so if you follow us on Instagram you'll, you'll see that on our Instagram page um, I put up that I love this day sack and I was thinking about getting getting one knocked up um, I think there's a thing called I, can't, I can never remember this off the top of my head the Guild the Guild of Tactical Stitchers or something there's loads of like, great guys within it and that all make kit and stuff like that and, I had a various look at some of the guys and loads of them are very, very capable. Um, but my mate Tom was up for Prepared Pathfinder and they had a modified uh, Bear Cows Monroe and I said, who done the mods for you mate? Um, and he was like 1157 Tactical. Um, and I'd seen 1157 Tactical when I was still in the military. Um, they had like Gucci helmet covers and stuff like that. So I had a quick gander and decided, yeah, they were... They were, they were pretty tidy. Um, he was he's kind of currently modifying a, a Puzzles issue Bergen. Um, we are I think it's a 1606 frame um, on the back. So I had a look at his stuff and I thought yeah. So I got in touch with him, told him what I was looking for, and said I'll send the day sack down because the dimensions of the day sack were perfect. It was exactly what I wanted. He said yeah mate, send it down. I gave him a list of improvements that I wanted and he was like yep I'll bang that out and he did um, and this is the this is the end result um, I'll quickly give you a talk through the day sack in a minute in fact no I'll just go in and I'll do that just now um, so the modifications that I wanted done one of the main things was the shoulder straps on my, my other day sack if you look back at the video it's just a plain cordura back I wanted a soft air mesh flow back um, and the back on this is absolutely bomb proof um, I actually done fizz with this this morning we did a cheeky weighted workout um, and I wore this for it with a decent amount of weight in it and it was comfortable as a comfortable thing um, it was absolutely dynamite if you look at it the shoulder straps are contoured to fit the shape of your body far better and they've got the air mesh on them as well they're not like overly thick and just soft there's a, a kind of rigidity to them um, so they hold their shape and don't just bunch up on your shoulders um, so I was massively impressed with the shoulder straps um, even down to the simple things if you look at the buckle here it's got the hole on it that I've put some paracord through so if wearing a day sack I do cream in I can just pull that nice and easy and it's going to be much easier to get the shoulders off I'm not flapping around with my thumb or if I'm wearing gloves in, in kind of colder weather I can just get a hold of the paracord and it makes life much easier so yeah the main the main kind of f features that I wanted changed were on the back I also didn't have a carry handle or a grab handle and he's banged one of them for us um, so yeah as far as the back of the day sack goes absolutely dynamite something that I should have said is it's roughly give or take 30 litres, roughly give or take 30 litres, so it's kind of like a Monroe, um, Monroe size. Um, one of the main things that I loved about the design of the day sack was this big top flap, because it could go over the front of my roll mat, and it just holds my roll mat in place, um, so I've kept that feature, and that is absolutely great. Um, another kind of modification I asked them to do was under the lid, put me a mesh pocket, um, I can fit like, my gloves and whatever other stuff I want in here I never had that on the one that I done um, 
and that is just absolutely banging again. A big massive kind of possibles pouch there. I still have the slip side pockets on the one, the same as the one that I made myself. I've got a saw, my axe, and then I just keep my belt knife on this side for when I'm travelling around. So I've still got these three slip compartments here that easily take all my kit. Something that he added for me, I didn't ask for it, because um, if you, if on my one, it was just kind of open top and I folded it in, was this kind of short snow collar or sand collar at the top. Um, and I'm so glad he did. I'm so glad he did because it's just an absolutely bomb proof feature. It's not like a big massive thing. I'm not going to overpack this day sack. Um, and that just is an absolutely bomb proof wee feature. On the sides of these slip pockets, I've got the compression straps, the same as before, with these awesome robust glide kind of buckles here. Um, banging. And we went for the contrasted colours. I just think that looks really cool. Get the 1157 tactical kind of patch there. I don't know if you can see that out. Sweet. I'm not going to go over what I'm carrying or anything like that. I'll just, I'll kind of let Al get a picture, or take a, a, wee, a wee video in a minute in the inside. Um, quickly going through, I have loads of space here at the top. I don't know if you want to see that there, Al. There's loads of space still left here at the top, and this is a full loadout um, that I would take for a day in the woods. But you can see the amount of space I've got here, even when I lock that down. Um, absolutely huge amount of space. So, what do I have in here? I've got a Montane Prism jacket and a canoe sack. TRC Outdoors Shiritsu windproof suit. A kind of over the top first aid kit with me way more than I would hopefully ever need. Um, because obviously I bring my children up here, so... I always want to go heavy on the medical kit. A possibles pouch. A fire kit. A tarp. And a, a Pathfinder cook kit. Canteen. Um, canteen set. Silky. Big boy. Fiskers X7. And my belt knife. So I can fit all that kit in this day sack. As well as this air mesh back, the same as the other design, there was this slip pocket here where I can cut down a bit of roll mat and fit that in. So I've just got a bit of mat um, that I cut down to add a bit of rigidi rigidi rigidity. Couldn't get that out, rigidity. I don't even, still don't think I'm saying that right. Whatever. Makes the back stiffer. Uh, it's just a kind of bit of roll mat. I've covered it in high glow orange tape because I can use it as a marker panel. Um, I can use it as a kneeling mat. Um, all sorts of things. I've talked about that before. Um, and that just fits in the back there. Um, it's made out of 500D Cordura. And if you just look inside, mate, here I'll. You can see the way, for example, all the edges. Everything, every joint and edge is covered up. Same way down in the bottom of the pack. All the joint and edges here. Even down to this, look at the workmanship and the quality here. The workmanship and the quality of this pack is mind blown. Like, absolutely mind blown. Um, I, I, I'm so very impressed. Uh, worth every penny. Um, when, when I look at it as a whole, really, sorry, and the gloves just in the top flap there. It's light as a feather and it holds everything I would need for a day in the woods with a huge amount of space left over for any scran or whatever as well as my roll mat here. So you can see the amount of kit that fits in here. Um, in the military, I suppose we would call it a jack sack. 
um, for, for any of the guys kind of in still serving that would be interested in like a kind of smaller jack sack any of the lads that are working in OPs or whatever um, it's easily top flappable um, just but that means like it can go under the top flap of a bigger rucksack to have a kind of scalable system. Um, just really impressed with it with the Velcro panel at the front as well for a morale patch. Uh, so it, the pack itself I, I'm absolutely in love with. It's a wee design I kind of come up with. It's as old as time, this sort of thing. It's just a basic bucket style pack with the slip pockets on the side for any various bits of kit mesh pocket under the top and then just that quality carry system in the back yeah, the padded mesh airflow back and shoulder straps have just took it to an absolute other level and then as well as the build quality I'll get years and years and years out of this pack a long long time um, and it's absolutely worth it so again today I've already beasted it uh, wearing like doing fizz in it, not a drama. Um, and I can tell by the build quality I'm going to get years out of it. And a lot of lads that I know use 1157 uh, tactical for stuff and they swear by it. So if it's good enough for a lot of day blocks, it's good enough for me. Price point, um, I'm not going to go into how much it was. However, like one of my mates went, just get a modified Monroe. I kind of looked into a modified Monroe and to get, by the time I'd bought the Monroe, and get all the modifications, it kind of, I was like, whoa. It was a bit more expensive than I was willing to pay. Getting this built for the ground up, the price point was absolutely outstanding. The service was absolutely outstanding as well. The communication um, to make sure I got the product I wanted and in a timely fashion as well. Um, so service was outstanding. The product was outstanding. The communication was outstanding and I could not be any happier. Um, as far as I'm concerned, 1157 Tactical gets a 10 out of 10 for kind of an initial thoughts review. Yeah, I've still got to carry the day sack, but I can tell I've got years and years of experience of doing this sort of stuff in the outdoors and carrying load over distance and all that sort of good sounding stuff. I know this is going to be a bomb proof bit of kit. I just love the wee design as well. Um, so yeah, uh, I've been speaking to the guys at 1157 Tactical and I've got a few other kind of day sack designs. I want to go up through the sizes. So I've got a kind of day pack, a three day pack and then a long distance pack. Um, so I'm kind of very interested in doing that. Uh, and I think I'll be getting all my stuff kind of for 1157 Tactical for here on in. I'm just very, very impressed. Just a side one as well before some Karen jumps on. No. I'm no sponsored by 1157 Tactical. No, I didn't get it at a reduced price. And I shouldn't either. Um, my granda used to say when I was a kid, a labourer is worth his hire. And that is 110% worth the hire. The quality of materials that are used, the level of skill that's used, and the attention to detail. Happy with that. So yeah, um, let me look at my day sack. What I'll be, be kind of using primarily when I'm in the woods, really. Um, uh, is this custom sack for 1157 Tactical. So guys, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good sounding stuff. If you haven't already done it, please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And as well, jump over to 1157 Tactical. It's a small UK owned company um, and support small business, especially, especially now, yeah. It's a good time to do it. As always, I've been Stu, he's been Alan, yous have been awesome. See you in the next one. Um, so as you can see, the way the shoulder straps come over and curve round my arms, it gives me like a full free range of motion um, and it just sits kind of, well for me, sits perfectly in my back. Um, but what makes it much easier, say for example, I did fall over and get a mechanical injury, rather than trying to like twist my hand up if I had injured my hand or whatever, the, just the addition 
of that, that hole there means that I can just really easily kind of adjust that and I think that's absolutely brilliant. Just a, a daft wee thing really. Um, but it's the, it's the simple things that matter, isn't it? Um, again, just the fit of these shoulder straps is banging, absolutely brilliant. And then the back is mega. And again, just the ability to kind of much easily, more easily adjust the shoulder straps is something I'm massively impressed with. Um, and then if I am out on the hill, I've got these wee attachment points, I can put my ranger beads or pacer beads on. Um, just fantastic. So yeah, the way it sits and fits on the back is, uh, is mint. All round, very, very, very impressive little day sack. Do you know when you get something or you order something? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I must admit, I ordered this day sack up and it's exceeded my expectations. The back, I know I keep going on about it, the back of the day sack and these shoulder straps have far exceeded my expectations. Very, very impressed. Um, and again, just, I love the contrast of the colour of the buckles and stuff, yeah. We design feature that they put in for me like this kind of small snow lock at the top and I prefer it at the back, see that I'm pushing it there when it's at the back it pulls and lifts the front of the day sack up see it? rather than being at the front it pulls and lifts the day sack up it just makes it easier to close it down just absolutely outstanding redesign really really impressed and um, so that's a feature that I love I must admit, absolutely love. And then the pocket under the, the lid and stuff. Really, really impressed. It exceeded my expectations. Like, I sent the day sack down to like give him a look at it and say, look, yeah, build something like this. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it shows the difference between, like, I wouldn't even call myself a hobbyist. Like a guy messing about in a sewing machine and a guy that's it's, it's actually his job, he's a professional. Um, just the quality that's came back, brilliant, over the moon with it, absolutely over the moon with it. Um, like I say, I'm going to order more for him, mate. I'm going to get him to knock me up some pouches and stuff as well, I think. Mm. Um, like a, a couple of possibles pouches, um, fire pouches and stuff like that in different colours, like bright orange ones for my fire one, stuff like that, um, to kind of round, round it out, I think. I'm very impressed, very sweet.